welcome to my Shaunica. So I haven't done like a sit down talk through tutorial in a really long ass time. But here I am. And I'm honestly really fucking stressed out because this is a New Year's Eve tutorial and New Year's Eve is tomorrow. So that means that I have to film and edit this all by tomorrow. But I just wanted to do like a quick New Year's Eve tutorial. I don't know. And I thought that I would do a talk through just so I could like talk about my year a little bit. I don't like know too too much about what I'm gonna do, but I wanna do like a smoky eye of some sort. I don't know if it's gonna be brown or silver yet. I wanna do like glitter here. Not like glitter tears, but like in a triangle underneath. So I have this glitter. I don't know where. Where it's from. Is it eye safe? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. I also have this other like gold. Oh! So I don't have that anymore. Oh my god. It's literally everywhere. That was my fault, honestly. They were fucking leaves anyway. Like, why do I need glitter in the shape of leaves? Wow. Wow. This is causing me so much anxiety. I'm literally just gonna pretend like it's not there. Okay, so I have this silver glitter. And then I also have, like, those NYX glitters. And I have glitter liners. So I'm thinking with all that combination, I can figure something out. Anyway, I'm gonna be using the James Charles Morphe palette because that's just what I've been using recently. I feel like a lot of people have it. If you don't have it, it's on. Honestly, fine. I'm gonna be using pretty neutral colors anyway, so you can probably just find these in any palette. Wow, I'm really upset about. Not even that I like lost all my glitter, but now I have to like clean it up. I probably won't end up cleaning it up. I'm gonna prime my eyelids first. I really have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of freaking out. I really want to do like a warm tone. It doesn't matter. That this is the thing. Um, I never go anywhere for New Year's Eve. But like, I do go to like friends' houses, but I'm not gonna like. <laughs> do this. I guess if you're going to a party, maybe. I don't know. Or you can just watch this first Shits and Giggles or because you love me. It's also like 8 o'clock. Oh, what? It's literally 5.30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Oh my god, I do not know how. Like, okay, editing a voiceover video is like one thing. I can totally do that in a day, but editing a talk through is just like, what? I know you guys prefer these, but it's just like harder to do them. I don't know. Wow, I'm really stressed out, bro. You can't make a cool tone look out of this palette. Wow. Wow. I'm freaking out. Okay, let me look at other palettes. I might use the Modern Renaissance. Honestly, I haven't pulled this bitch out in a long ass time. Most of y'all probably have her anyway. So I think I'm gonna do that, which is good because I'm using concealer, not MAC Paint Pot because James says that you should use MAC Paint Pot with this palette, but MAC Paint Pot is not cruelty free and I'm not about to go buy it just so I can use this palette. So I just use concealer, but I guess I'm gonna take this Morphe M 519 brush and take the shade Bon Fresco. Put that in the crease. Have not used this palette in so long, but honestly, I'm kind of excited because I remember this was my favorite palette ever. I wonder if that's changed. Okay, I have a bunch of things to catch y'all up on. Number one, I am gonna be doing what I got for Christmas haul. But I want to get like all my presents for my friends and stuff because I want it to be like a nice long complete video. Let me know if like you think the timing is more important than like the length of the video. I y'all just like want to see something that I can like do that sooner rather than than later but it's gonna go up in the new year regardless because I waited a long time because I was in Canada so vlogmas never finished it because I told you guys I don't follow through with things so I even did vlogmas week three and everything but I stopped editing it because we went to Quebec and I just by the time that it would have gone up it would have been when week four should have gone up and I didn't film at all in Quebec like literally not a single video just because I wanted to like spend time with my family I feel like vlogmas is good in theory but if you think about it it's really taking youtubers away from like spending time with their family which is what Christmas is actually about and it's literally making Christmas all about YouTube which I feel like is kind of like toxic and twisted in some way like I get like vlogmas is fun and everything and I actually enjoyed vlogging at school but I think that like when it approaches nearer and nearer to Christmas that time that you're spending vlogging should be spent with your family and I get that like you can vlog with your family but like I don't know it's a lot of work bruh now I think I'm gonna take the shade warm toe which is another cool tone I'm just gonna take all the cool tone shades in the palette and put them on top of each other and hope that something comes out of it wow I love being a fucking beauty guru this is so nice <sighs> Me too. Okay, wait, I can actually see this like working out. Right now it looks really stupid and like natural. I know that that's like fine, I guess, but like it's New Year's Eve, sis. Okay! So now I'm gonna go into Cypress Umber. My palette is busted. The mirror is literally complete. Oh, that was August computer. My mirror is literally completely detached. I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. I hate doing shimmers so much, but it's just, it's gonna look good with this look. But I just hate it because they always like transfer when I open my eye. It looks fine, but this is like such a 2013 eyeshadow look. <laughs> ah, 
Oof. So now I'm gonna cut the crease just because I want it to be like nice and sharp, but we're just gonna put a shimmer shade over it. I guess you like don't have to, but I'm trying to like go all out right now. I don't really know. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the James palette actually and I'm gonna take the shade I don't have the um, paper with me right now or the sheet, but I will put it on the screen It's in the upper right corner and I'm gonna do this. Oh, okay. All right, sister I'm using a really fat brush. This is just not wise. Can't you see the juice mothering me? 2019 just sounds like such a futuristic year like 2019. I'm just gonna try and keep the shimmer shade where she is and not like transfer into my crease by doing a line of Midnight Cowboy. Sorry you can't even see me. Now I'm just gonna spray it with Morphe Prep and Set. So for Christmas, I got this Tatcha set that has like a bunch of mini Tatcha products. So I'm going to be using the silk canvas and the water cream to prep. So I'm just preppy like that, you know? And I'm going to use my mini. I feel like I should use a sponge and be sanitary. Ooh, it goes on better with a sponge anyway, so that's the tea on that. Now I'm going to conceal. You guys know I don't totally fuck with foundation anymore. I literally have not opened my foundation drawer in months. All of the foundations in there are probably old and expired and gross and crusted invested. I'm just kind of scared to go in there at this point. That's uncharted territory. This sponge is literally not wet at all. It's dry as a bone and hard as a rock. The Morphe sponge is literally so hard when it's not wet, when it's dry. Like I know you're supposed to wet beauty blenders but I don't have time for that. My bathroom is like a hike. It's like 10 whole steps. My gnosis hurts. It feels like I'm literally like whacking myself. So that bit life video, that did so well. I was not expecting you guys to like that video as much as you did but i'm really glad that you did because i enjoyed it a lot so i'm glad that we're like on the same page with like what videos are good and what aren't i feel it's a lot of the second one i'll probably honestly end up doing a series because i had a lot of fun filming it and i played bit life anyway so it's just like easy content you know yeah hi are you gonna say something you look like an apache god you can't say that <laughs> it's culturalist so what what's wrong with that you look like you're putting on more paint. I, I'm going to go to Sushi Maggie to tell me what you want. Okay, can I tell you right now? Yeah, or you can text it. Can I tell you right now? Yeah. Is Why are you putting on makeup? I'm filming a video. Right, you caught this whole thing on video? Everybody heard me say that? Can I get an avocado roll and an Idaho maki? And that's it. A what? Idaho. Oh. I da ho. <gasps> <laughs> that's why you like those rolls. <laughs> Wait, don't do that. I do this. This is in Russian. You're gonna edit this conversation out. Oh no, I'm keeping this in. You go get the food because I'm hungry. Wait, okay, so just text me. This is what I just told you what I want. Repeat it back to me. Oh, the you're the hoe roll. And what else? Chopsticks. No, avocado. Oh. Say it, repeat it back to me. Avocado, you're the hoe. <laughs> That was even better than when I dropped all that fucking glitter on the ground. Oh my god, I'm so excited for my sushi. I've eaten sushi five times over break, and this is gonna be my sixth. But the thing is, in Canada, in Quebec, they're just like, at least where we were staying, there just weren't any good sushi places. So the only place that we, like, could go to only had avocado rolls, which are, like, good, don't get me wrong. And they were, like, really good at that place. But I just, I don't know, I wanted the sweet potato tempura. Those are so good. If you haven't had them, get them. I don't like sweet potato, and I'm not a huge fan of tempura on its own but tempura rolls I love. And that's the tea on that. Now I'm gonna take the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is what I've been doing recently. You guys are gonna see my everyday face routine, but I've actually been using contour and bronzer, like separate products. Like it's whack. I never really like saw the difference before, but now I kind of do. I don't know, the Butter Bronzer is a wonderful, wonderful, magnificent, beautiful bronzer. It looks so good on the skin, but it doesn't contour my face the way that my face needs to be contoured. It's just too light, too like orange. Not like orange, but just too light caramel-y to contour. You need something a little bit more like brownie chocolate. If you're catching my drift! Remember when my dad said you're a hoe? Every day for school I contour my nose. Just because when I put on concealer and I don't contour my nose, my nose just gets like lost. Like I naturally have a really really thin nose and I understand that. But <gasps> when I put concealer there, it just makes it all the same color so you can't like really see it. I don't know. It's just important to me, okay? Don't hate. And I'm using this Luxie 207 brush. Now I'm taking my butter bronzer and a more like wide angled brush. I'm putting this honestly 
honestly where you would put your blush. I don't even do blush. I use this to like warm up my cheeks. Okay, so now we're gonna do the glitter. I'm kind of nervous about it. So I have NYX Glitter Primer. If you have the Too Faced one, you can use that. Okay, I'm really nervous. I've never done anything like this before, like literally ever. I'm so scared. Now I'm gonna dip that same brush into this pot and I'm just gonna... My camera ran out of space at like the interesting part, but I caught her. So this is what we've got so far. That looks like actually kind of good. But I feel like it's just like kind of weird considering that like it's a gold eye look and then I put silver stars. So I'm gonna, I might just fuck this whole thing up, but I also might make it dope as fuck. Whoa, that rhymed. I love glitter. I love the way that it looks, but I hate the actual thing. It is literal herpes. This is gonna be such a cunt and I rarely use that word to get off not even a bitch but it looks so dope hey wait I'm gonna cry honestly oh I didn't never did fuck I never did lower lash eyeshadow okay it's fine maybe we can work it in find a small brush I'm gonna take citrus umber and a little bit of warm taupe Saved. Take a shot every time I almost ruin something in this video and then save it. Okay, off camera I'm gonna do my lashes and shit and we'll come back for the lips and everything. She's back. I used the Jade number 13 lashes from Huda Beauty, the foam ink one. So for highlighter I'm gonna be using the base shade in the James Charles Morphe palette. Because I'm basic like that and it also is just a really flattering shade. I'm sorry. I don't know what I want to do for lips. I'm kind of conflicted. I don't like to do lips really in the first place but it's New Year's so I feel like I should go all out. We'll do setting spray first because we want to stay on all night. I'm actually just gonna do the Fenty gloss balm. I feel like I do this every look. Good look gloss. I want to get the new one. Fussy. So yeah, this is my final New Year's Eve look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you by any chance recreate it, which you probably won't, just tag me on Instagram. I really want to see it, honestly, because you probably will do it better than I did. I hope you guys have an awesome New Year's Eve. Thank you so much for sticking around with me through 2018. It was actually a really, really, really tough year for me. It just wasn't that great. Y'all know, like, the whole housing situation last year was kind of unfortunate, to say the least, but I'm so grateful that in this half of 2018, the after summer half, everything has gotten so much better. And honestly, life is just pretty good right now. So I really hope that that carries on into 2019. And I hope that you guys have a great 2019 too. I'm sorry to get all cheesy and everything, but I just, I love you so much. And I hope that you have a good year because you deserve it. And I hope that your 2018 was decent. I'm so proud of you for surviving another fucking year. I can't believe you did that. I love you so much. Just comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on staying alive. Tell me that I'm an idiot. You know that you'll be lying. What?